Before he got here, he was talking about Palm Sunday. Before he got here, this was chapter 11 of Mark 11. This is the last one, Mark 11. Before he got here, in Mark 10, something had happened that I want to go back and show you right now. Because it's a miracle service. In verse 46, I would say that you want to be careful what you listen to. Here it says, and they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho, this is also loaded. Don't forget about Jericho. It's where they were shut up against Israel. Jericho had gates and walls that couldn't be broken through. And through praise, Israel had destroyed and broken the wall. That was a place of victory. So, and Jesus Christ had, Baba said that, that somebody had appeared and said, Joshua, said, Joshua, are you for us? Are you against us? He says, I'm not for anybody, but I'm here on the behalf of the host. Then Joshua fell down and said, I worship you. Because, see, God's, God's anointed is for the one that will respect and honor it. And so, as he came out of Jericho, this, this is loaded, but time, time. And a great number of people. So he came out of Jericho with disciples, a lot of people. So people who were special. And then blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the hair wayside begging. This guy was blind. And when you're blind, they give you a right to sit down and beg. And you have a special cloth. Like a license to beg. And imagine that time, even now, there was no social service, there was nothing at all. So he was blind, he was stuck. How does he eat out of the rock hand? Whatever it is. He's a nothing person. And here there's Jesus. Here there are disciples. And there are a lot of people. So this guy had no access to Jesus. I don't know where you are today in your life. And you feel that you have no access to the deep things of God. Or somebody who can help you and pray for you. The mighty man of God who has the power to do stuff for you. This guy had nothing. I could do a series on this guy alone. You know, because I'm a teacher of God's word. And I go deep if I, I'm allowed, if I have the time and space. One hour is not enough, but you know, you know, one hour is okay. That's what, but one hour is a lot. It's because <laughs> I was told in Bible school that, that you must not Preach that was preach as long as the seat can endure the chair. If the seat has get hurt, you preach too much. Shut up. So, <laughs> so you know, I, 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 I try to keep it shut. But this was a blind man, the son of Timaeus. He was begging. When he heard that he was Jesus of Nazareth, you see, he had been, he understood who Jesus was. The, the leaders did not know, they were trying to destroy him. But this guy knew that this was the Messiah, the Son of God. He began to cry and say, Jesus, go and look at the book of Mark. Read the whole book of Mark. There is never a time when miracles came. Maybe only once or so. Maybe, maybe also the, you know, that's also debatable. Like when, when Peter's mother-in-law was sick and they got there and they prayed for her, woke up. I tried to go and cook for them. So they didn't have to go and cook. So he raised her up. But every other time, most of the and all the all the time, but every other time in Mark, people that got healed, they came and made a demand on his anointing. Today, as you are today, don't be distracted. In your mind, start to make a demand on what you need God to do for you. Because it's not that pray for me, it's a demand on what you need to do. That God, I want this. I mean, sometimes you had to go and say, God, this is what's happening. And go to the court of heaven as a child and go say, God, I, I come to you and I come with Satan. Look at him, God. He is, he has been doing A, B, C, D to me, but he has no authority. In fact, right now, I command to leave because I am in my father's court of heaven. I have authority in the third heavens. He has no right. He has no, he, he is, he is not, there, there is, there is, there is, you are, <laughs> You are seated in the heavenly places, 
in Christ Jesus. The only way you can lose is when you drop drop all your your stealth bombers, your drones, your your assault rifles. You drop everything, and you pick up a water pistol, or you pick up a boy. Know that that know those toy bow and arrows, and you face a man that's holding at your gun. Whereas you have an assault rifle. Say, no, I don't want, I'm, just give me a water pistol. Say, in the name of Jesus, yes, you have water. And the guy is all around you. This is war. But if you understand that you are a child of God, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Amen. You have to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. You prayed once. There's not, that's just thank and God, I thank you. I prayed about this. I receive it. I thank you. God, give me, give me, give me, give me. No, he's not deaf. <laughs> it's not death. When you the child says, Give me, give me rest, give me rest, give me, I'm cooking it, give me, I'm cooking it, give me rest, I'm cooking it, give me, give me rest, I'm cooking the rest, leave me alone. It's on the fire, what the, wait, please give me rest, it's on the fire, wait, rest, no, it's on the fire. Of course, you're all very posh, you're very kind, you're very nice, and you don't say, you may make, you make gentle the child, don't talk to the child at all. You know, shout the child, you're, you're, you're cool. You're, you're collecting, you're very gentle. Oh, I know you've met me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you backing up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop backing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop backing up. <laughs> they said, no, it's okay. Keep on backing. Enjoy yourself. But, but here, look at what he says. He says, he says Jesus, that's not David. Have mercy on me. Mercy. He's saying that I'm not worthy. Have mercy on me. Just like Jabez said, and when we talk about the Bible, we say that have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. This cannot continue, Lord. You are the son of David. You are my Messiah. You are here and I'm blind. Have mercy on me. You know. We're asking God, God, please do it for me. Stop asking God or begging God. God, this is your church. You say you will build your church, oh God, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You've called us out as people of God. You bless our increase, oh God. You build your church. We need a place to a place to stay, a place to call our own, a place to worship. We receive our own place, oh God. I want a place of worship. I want a place where we can stay and gather and not move our faith in and out. Where we can go and pray and we can call our own. We come from the place of God in the city. A place that glorifies your name. A place that we can say, this is the house of Jesus. We call it forth for God. Lord, we thank you that it's for your glory and for your kingdom. You know, this guy was decreeing to God what he wanted. But saying that you are the son of David, you are the Messiah. I am blind. I can't see. Have mercy on me. And may many, many charge him. Shut up. Shut up. You're messing up Jesus. He's on he's he's on he's on he's on he's going somewhere. And you're shouting at him. You are messing up his agenda. Shut up. You're just a blind nothing. Keep your mouth shut. So I don't know what circumstances are saying to you today that, hey, miracle, you can't get a miracle. You want to buy a house in Langley in Vancouver? You know what the house price are? <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. How can you buy a house? How much do you earn? You want to talk to the banks? They can't give you a loan. You can't make it. How are you going to do it? These are the realities we were telling you that. Hey, shut up, man. We are the disciples. We are the ones, and there's a big crowd. We are the ones in front. You are, you are, don't, don't disturb us, man. We are, stop shouting. Let's hear what Jesus is saying to us. They said, but he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Thou just Christ says that if you understand that I'm the Messiah, the son of God, on this rock of understanding who I am, on this petra. They was like, oh, the church is built on Peter. What an abomination. It says, you are Peter, that's Petros. On this petra, the big rock myself, this revelation, 
I will build my church. The church is not built on Peter. That's a, that's a rubbish. Idiocy. Stupidity. I'm built on a man. Since I understand who I am, I will build my church. And the gate of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. These words were written in red by Jesus. So if Jesus said those words to you, you must believe with your heart, with the very fabric and being, that he meant what he said. Because he always says exactly what he means. He says exactly what he means. Whatever he says is what he means. Don't get, uh, maybe he did. He meant exactly what he said. He says here that, but he says, he cries the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Because if you are the Messiah, I know you are. You are a God of mercy. Jabez, would you have mercy on me, God? My name means child of sorrow. Anywhere I go, they call me child of sorrow. Lord, would you make my life great? And not my costs. Let no evil find me, Lord God. There may be one with me and God had his prayer. God have mercy on me. Oh, but what about Job? His Job was destroyed. No. Job had Bible says that the Job said that the thing that I greatly feared has come upon me. Job was afraid. Every day he would, he would do offering for his for, for his children, for his this, for his that. He was always in a, was always was afraid. So fear will bring forth darkness into your life. But even with that darkness, when God actually restored Job, God says, "Go and pray for your friends because I'm about to judge them because they're talking rubbish about you." And then when he went to God and said, "Okay, for, I forgive them," and he prayed for his friends in forgiveness, God now restored Job more than he ever had, more than he ever imagined. More than so, Job is not Job is not an excuse. So he says here, careful what you listen to. You are on a road going somewhere. Stick to your road. Amen. Mac ten, but Jesus stood still. You see, if you have yeah. listen to those people talking, Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Today, heaven has, heaven stands still when you say, God, have mercy on me. If I shut your eyes and talk to God right now, say, God, have, have mercy, mercy on me. Tell him what you need. Talk, talk to God. Shut your eyes and say, God, have mercy on me. Jesus, I need this. I need that. Jesus, son of David, 